That heavy rain now is working into parts of western Goochland County. Moderate rain across Richmond now over towards the east. Still some heavier downpours there between Mechanicsville and Aylet on 360 there. That is moving to the north as well. I want to show you a rainfall plot though. This is just over the last 12 hours. Sections of Dinwiddie and Brunswick County is about one to three, even a little bit more than that in terms of accumulation. And over towards Wakefield have had a couple inches of rain. We do have flood advisors in effect for a little while longer. Eastern Nottoway County, western and southern uh, Dinwiddie County and northern Brunswick County. That's for that heavy rain that has fallen. So you may encounter a little bit of flooding. This is a rainfall plot though of the past 48 hours and no, not the most attractive map we've ever shown you. But look at this, a bullseye of four to seven and a half inches of rain towards the southeast. And those sections of Dinwiddie and Brunswick counties have gotten three to four plus over the past 48 hours. Farther north, we've had a nice rain here and there, about an inch to two, occasionally about two to three inches of rain. And we have more on tap for the next couple of days. So the main rain pushes north of I-64. We'll still have a few showers and thunderstorms around this evening. For tomorrow, we're going to have less in terms of overall rain area wide, but there will be some batches of showers and thunderstorms and notice them start brewing back up around midday and afternoon. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer will be in the upper 70s and low 80s, and those showers and thunderstorms will start to kind of uh, taper down a little bit tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Going into Saturday, there's still a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms, but notice not quite as many. We'll have a few popping up in the afternoon and evening as high temperatures get into the low and mid 80s, but the chance rain drops a little bit each day.